Hey everyone, welcome to Press On Mobile Coffee. On this episode today, we're gonna to be talking about what it actually costs to start a mobile coffee business. So in particular for this video, we're gonna be looking at a coffee trailer. We have calculated the cost of not only materials, but also the labor that we've put into it. First and foremost, when we're talking about labor, um, it's not just your overall building labor. You gotta think about what it's costing you to make your dump runs when you're doing demo, is shopping online, all that's calculated. I didn't even really consider fuel cost. I mean, that's a big added cost that I didn't take into consideration uh, for planning too. So going down to the state and local offices for permitting and so forth. So you gotta take also, that. Also, I would say the time shopping for the trailer that we decide that we're gonna use. Yeah, because uh, the trade that we found on our most recent build was about an hour and a half away. So, you know, there's three hours of driving plus, um, you know, registering trailer and so forth and, you know, the gas to go pick it up once again. So we decided to calculate our labor at about $50 an hour, which I think is pretty reasonable because if you hire a trades worker, it's going to be anywhere from about $30 to $100 an hour and they specialize in a specific thing. So you'll still have to schedule somebody to come out and do the other work if that's what you're gonna do. For sure, yeah. So you got electricians, plumbers, etc., And you can find someone that could probably do just about everything. Like if you go straight to an RV shop, but because they're an RV shop, they're gonna be, I think minimum labor at RV places is a hundred bucks an hour. So it's it gets like, pricey very fast. It's like when you put wedding in front of anything, it's like, Exactly. And of course, you're going to pay extra for the materials too, because they always charge more versus when you buy your own materials. Yeah. Speaking of materials, let's get into our list. We try to do our very best on creating this list for you, but it will vary quite a bit depending on different things. Yeah, overall, just material differences. Um, let's get right into it. For sure. Um, so first and foremost, cabinets. So we decided to build our own cabinets. And originally, we we're looking at doing like a ready-made cabinet you can buy right off the shelf at Lowe's, but the issue we ran into there is our doorway in the trailer and most old vintage trailers are not wide enough, so there was no way we could actually get the cabinets into the trailer. And we even tried to, you know, measure for our service window to fit through there, but it just wouldn't work. So that's why we decided to go with the building option. We did save some money overall by building our own cabinets. Um, and they were kind of a little bit of custom and fit too, um, anyway, for the trailer since it's pretty rounded teardrop style. Yeah, that was pretty tricky. We did make a video for that. If you want to see how to build cabinets in a rounded trailer, we've got you. Yeah. And um, so that saved some money, but overall, because of the time and again, labor. Um, in the future, if I had a big enough doorway, I would probably go and opt for ready-made cabinets just to save that time. Okay, so what did cabinets cost? Um, so overall material wise, I think we spent about $1,400 and that was cabinets and countertops. Mm -hmm. So a good chunk of that, um, $700 roughly was for this Acacia Butcher Block uh, countertop. It's a pretty pricey, but that's something I really wanted a nice look in the trailer. Especially since that's really what's gonna be presented to the customer. We cut it out so it fits out to the window when you serve the customer it's on that countertop yeah it's all this seamless countertop as for if you buy the ready-made cabinets so we're probably going to be looking closer to about twenty three hundred dollars mm -hmm. for ready-made so next one is your machines you know if you want to go um refurbished or used which i i try to you know go for that just because you can save some money just you gotta inspect your machine well mm -hmm. um or know your you know know your seller you know if you have a good relationship with them you know you're gonna buy a good product but yeah the problem that we came into a lot with used machines was uh people don't clean the machines and so that was a burden on us mm -hmm. when we bought the machine that we had to either replace parts or do some serious deep cleaning for sure and worrying about where they store them because if they store them through the winter and it's not in a heated place then if the pipes freeze or the boiler freezes and there's water in there it can do some serious damage machine wise um so we're talking um refrigerator espresso machine uh coffee grinder anything like that any of those appliances you're going to need we spent on this particular build i believe it was forty nine hundred dollars um, and every single one of those was refurbished or used. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas if you would have bought those same machines brand new, you're looking at about $8,400. So something about our espresso machine that is very unique is um, it came from the UK. So we did splurge a little bit on that and it's because we needed a dual fuel machine. We do run off grid and off of propane 
instead of uh, using a generator. So that's a little bit more pricey when you get into the realm of propane. For sure. So we got really lucky and found a trailer for about $2,000, but with that trailer came a lot of work. Yeah, it was pretty rough on the inside. Um, overall, the exterior is really good shape, but the inside pretty much was a, a straight gut down to the metal frame. Um, and we took off all the interior wall panels as well because they had a lot of water damage. So somebody actually put a cork in a hole in the roof. Oh yeah, they plugged <laughs> it with a cork and some uh, electrical tape, which yeah, is pretty funny, but hey, clever. it worked for them, you know? <laughs> But um, so material wise, so this is going to just vary a bit because you could get really lucky and have a really decent shaped trailer. We don't have to do a whole lot on the inside or you could do like we did. Um, so this particular section we spent about $4,500 on, but this is including uh, flooring, subflooring, um, sanding down the, the actual frame of the trailer and recoding it service window, uh, in new insulation in the walls, new wall paneling, new ceiling, um, the so paint. the paint on the interior, trim work on the interior, a whole lot. Basically everything you can think of in the interior. Uh, overall building supplies too, like my steam pitchers and all that too. So, and cups and everything. Everything you get up and running for the first time. And including the paint on the exterior as well. So, yeah. and that was buying a paint gun, spraying it myself and $4,500 for all those. And that does include some tools too that we needed. Yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately we can't give you a hard number for your build because it will be unique to your trailer. Mm -hmm. I would say $4,500 though is pretty good considering it was a complete gut in the inside yeah. and buying some tools too. So I would say you could probably shoot around that number if not less. So he actually ran all of the electrical and plumbing himself. Yeah, the plumbing and electrical are both not very difficult. It just takes um, some patience. There's just so many different fittings you need for plumbing. But plumbing uh, was spent right about $1,500. And that does include uh, not only all the actual uh, PEX piping, but the fittings includes the uh, three compartment sink and a hand wash sink, 30 and 40 gallon uh, fresh and gray water tank. Um, and also the pitcher in sink too for you know your steam pitcher after you know, steam milk. You can actually probably get away with doing a bit less on that too. Just depends on the length of your trailer and where you're gonna put all your stuff, you know, in relation to uh, where it's at in your trailer. Because you know if it's all close together, you know you're gonna have less piping. But um, that includes all the gray pipe too, so all the drain lines. So the plumbing total cost about fifteen hundred. And what about the electrical? So that electrical is actually the cheaper of the of those two, believe it or not. Um, but in total, we still spent about $700 for electrical. Electrical for this particular build, we did it a little bit more simple. And what we did for this particular build is we bought a pre-made um, electrical panel from a company called Cafe Works. I'll put a link in the description. But um, yeah, That made it really easy. Yeah, for sure. So it's basically this panel. You, um, I, We actually did a video on it, but this panel has um, a connection. You just connect to the exterior outlet of the trailer that you would plug into your generator. Uh, and then it has all the outlets built in right to it, all the breakers built into it. And then so I had a central location for my um, for my power where I plug everything in. So you might need to run some extension cords, but it definitely saved a lot of time in the long run. Okay, and then electrical can also be a little bit more variable too, depending on what kind of generator you get. And then in our case, we actually set it up to run off of a battery system, which you can add about $2,000 onto that electrical package. Yeah, the battery uh, inverter system from Blue Eddy is kind of pricey, but it's really, really cool option to be able to be off grid and not have to worry about connecting to a generator. But um, yeah, so coming back to that $700 would be just the electrical and then add the cost of a generator, which would be about $1,000 for a decent one. Um, but if you're gonna go with the you know propane option like we did, you won't need that generator. So the last category on our materials list would be decor. And we didn't spend much on decor, if anything. I think we refurbed some old doorknobs and- You know, some little things here and there, like a little coffee sign. Yeah. We found, um, built our own menu. Um, those are pretty cheap to do. In a moment, we're gonna give you the grand total of what it cost us to build a mobile coffee shop. But if you've made it this far and realize that the construction aspect is not for you, we do build them to suit. So if you do decide you want to hire someone to build a trailer for you, as far as I know, we are the only one west of Ohio. The cheapest option out there that I found for uh, coffee trailers 
uh, starting at $26,000 before tax. And that price does not include any equipment to, to you know, get you up and running. It's no water tank, no insulation. Pretty basic inside for the most part. Um, yeah, they didn't seem to insulate interior walls, that kind of thing. Cool looking trailers, but it just didn't seem um, like the best option for your money. If you want to take a look at what we have to offer at uh, pressoncoffee.com, you have a brochure you can download to show what our trailers actually include and all the options available. We like to build ours turnkey so they're ready to go. You know, you take it over and you know, buy your coffee beans and your syrups and you're, you know, ready to start selling coffee. That being said, our current trailer, Agatha, as we call her, is listed for sale on our website. So if you want to check her out, you can see all of the details there. As we promised, the grand, grand total. total. Jinx. I'm going to give you two sets of numbers here. The first set is how we did it with, you know, the used equipment and, you know, a lot of the building ourselves when it comes to the cabinets. And then I'll give you the cost of what it'd be if you were to buy all new. Or hire out. Or hire out, sure. Um, so uh, let's see here. For instance, uh, cabinets, $1,400. Uh, machines, $4,900 and appliances. Uh, building supplies, including all the accessories, $4,500. Plumbing, $1,500, electrical, $700, plus a generator of an additional thousand. And then we have uh, the decor, which is kind of variable. A trailer itself, we found ours for $2,000. Then adding in the labor, 320 hours is what I calculated. And that's strictly build labor, um, build hours. So that's not considering even running and you know picking up supplies. That's just me in the trailer working on it. 20 hours at $50 an hour, that is $16,000 just in labor alone. So keep in mind, if you are building this yourself, that labor cost, you're essentially paying yourself by doing the work. So overall, you're looking at $16,000 to build out a mobile coffee shop. So now you have the grand total of what it truly costs to build a mobile coffee shop. Now, if you have any more unanswered questions, drop them in the comments. As always, guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Until next time, press on.